hunch, you bastards. It's just the way me coat's hanging. You... Oh, Jesus, they're coming. Jesus. Oh. 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 oh, Jesus. Do you know, I wish I was famous. Life would be so much easier, do you know that? Ah, uh, were the kids spitting at you again? Yeah, and people would show me the respect I deserve. Ah, uh, did the girl guides tie to a lamppost and steal her trousers again? Yeah, and I'm sick of it. If I was famous, everyone would adore me. Mm. They'd tip their hats to me, and the women would throw themselves at me, so mm, they would. <laughs> instead of throwing excrement at you. Exactly. Well, fame, huh? It can be indeed a vibrant mistress. But sometimes it can be a dirty hoe. Jesus, you're a poet, Pudge. Mm. A second poet. Thank you. Mm. Take, for instance, Jerry Ryan, right? Sure, he has it all. A swanky car, two houses. Five chins. He's Ireland's undisputed talk radio king. But if you think celebrities have it easy, they don't. Huh? One day, Jerry had just finished up a particularly good radio show. Oh, it was bound to be about arsectomies or giant groinal swellings. <laughs> you know the way he yeah, does Yeah, I go. get it, yeah. Anyway, Jerry often went for a beverage to wind down at his favourite yeah. haunt, the Gay Bar. One of the top watering holes in Dublin. There yeah, where all the Dublin ponces live. That. The barman got Jerry his usual and he began to relax. That particular evening, Jerry noticed a young man in a suit staring at him. <laughs> he knew what was coming. Oh, he shot him dead! No. Ah. The young man nervously approached Jerry. How's it going, Jerry? Autograph. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be great. great, the fella said nervously and introduced himself as Jack. Uh, Jerry signed a napkin and handed it to him. But Jack oh, wasn't thanks, about Jerry. to move. Is there something else I can do for you? Look, Jerry, I was wondering, could you do me a favour? I've got a big business deal coming through. And you know, I've got a couple of clients coming over. And it would just be really, really impressive. You know, if you could, like come over and pretend to be my mate. Not a bad idea, I suppose. Uh, that's what Jerry thought. A young man using his initiative. You've got to admire that. Mm. As time passed, Jerry was under pressure to leave. Unfortunately, the young man's clients were yet to appear. Uh, Jerry apologised, but he was going to have to go. Then, the tears came. If this doesn't work out, Jerry... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Jerry looked at the poor soul. He was touched by the emotional outpouring. This guy, this salt of the earth type fella, was just trying to get on, doing whatever it takes. Jerry wasn't about to abandon this fellow human being in his time of need. No, sir. Jerry, don't do that. God bless Jerry Ryan and his big fat head. One swampy fanny on that table, and I'll do it for you. Jack was Thank delighted. So much, he wiped the tears away and thanked Jerry from the bottom of his heart. Mm. He would never forget Jerry and his kindness. Jerry had a warm feeling rushing through him. A swampy fanny will do that for you, though, all right. Yeah. yeah. Just then, a couple of serious suited types appeared. Jerry watched on as Jack greeted them. Jerry let them settle and waited for that moment. That moment when one of the suits did a double take in his direction. That's right, pal. It's G. Ryan. He got up and made his way over to the group. Jack, how are you? Great to see you. How's that business of yours going? Jerry, can't you see him in a meeting? Now, fuck off. What? He said, he said, what? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Jerry couldn't believe what he had just heard. He went bright red and backed out of the room, utterly humiliated. The two businessmen were now even more impressed with Jack. This kid's got anyway, not only contacts, ESD. but balls of steel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. After that, 
Yes, well, oh. I don't know if I want to be famous oh. anymore. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, just out of interest, um, uh. how are you planning on becoming famous? Oh, I was going to streak on RTE. I'd be famous for bearing me bits on national television. No, 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 no. That, that, that wouldn't make you famous. Oi. Uh, sure, the Irish public are well used to seeing pricks on RTE on a weekly basis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> and no names mentioned. Oh, oh no, 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 Jesus, no. <laughs> it's very tactful of you there, yeah. not to actually mention Ed Burns' name at all. Shite. Good man, thanks for that. How big is Ed Byrne? Quite tall. <sighs> You'd have to grab him by the hair, it's the only way. Thought of, I bite him in the bollocks when you sit in his face. Oh, God, Jerry Ryan, huh? <laughs> hey, hey, fuck off, Jerry Ryan.